Page 12, Oblique Asymptotes. What are oblique asymptotes, OA, and how are they found? These are asymptotes that are neither vertical nor horizontal. They could be diagonal, slanted, or a curve. You find these after finding the holes. When the leading term of the numerator has a greater degree than the lead term of the denominator, you'll have one of these. Use synthetic division or long division to divide out the two polynomials. The oblique asymptote is the y equals whatever quotient you find. Um, to get the asymptote, you don't have to look at the remainder, but you do have to have one to have an oblique asymptote. If you had a remainder of zero, there would be no uh, oblique asymptote. So let's go over parts of a division problem. So we have n divided by d, where n is the numerator, also known as the dividend. d is the denominator. also known as the divisor. Q is the quotient. It's how many times D could go into N without going over. And then R is the remainder. So that's how much is left over after you find the quotient. So let's look at an example. We have 298 divided by 5. We'll write those here. Your steps are divide, multiply, subtract, and then break down. And then you repeat this process until you can't bring anything else down. So 5 goes into 2, 0 times, 0 times 5 is 0, 2 minus 0 is 2. Break down the 9, uh, 5 goes into 29. 5 times without going over, 5 times 5 is 25. Subtract those, you get 4, and then bring down the 8. 5 goes into 48, 9 times, 9 times 5 is 45. Subtract those, and then you get 3. So your remainder is 3. So your answer is... 59 remainder 3. You could also write this as a mixed number as 59 and 3 fifths. When um, you're dividing these, you're not putting any decimals in the answer. Instead, you're more interested in finding the remainders for these. Now, when you're dividing polynomials with long division, you do the same thing as with just numbers. Divide the uh, leading coefficient, so it'd be like the 2 and the 5. Multiply the quotient and the divisor. Subtract the product from the dividend, and break down the next term and repeat until there's nothing left to bring down. So let's do two examples here. And again, an oblique asymptote is where y equals the quotient when there is a remainder. Let's look at example two. 
x squared plus 7x plus 12 divided by x plus 3. So we're going to go ahead and write this out. This number will go on the inside, so x squared plus 7x plus 12, that's the dividend expression, and then the divisor is x plus 3. So the first step, we want to divide the leading coefficients. The leading coefficients is x and x squared. x squared divided by x is just x. So we're going to write that above the x term. Okay, multiply the quotient and the divisor. So you're going to multiply this x times x plus 3. And you're going to subtract that product. So basically we're going to multiply by negative the quotient that we got times the divisor. So we get negative x squared minus 3x. Okay, you're going to subtract these, that's 0, that's uh, 4x, and then bring down the 12. And now you're going to repeat the process again, but now the leading coefficient is 4x. It's no longer x squared because we got rid of that. So we have 4x divided by x, the x cancels to 1, so you have a quotient of 4. So we'll put plus 4 up here. Okay, now we're going to multiply negative 4 times the divisor, x plus 3. So we have negative 4x minus 12. That gives you 0, so you have a remainder of 0. There's no remainder there. So your quotient is x plus 4. So there's no oblique asymptote here, just a whole. Let's do the next one. We have 15x squared plus 26x plus 8 divided by 5x plus 2. So we'll write the dividend inside, which is the expression 15x squared plus 26x plus 8. And then we're going to have our divisor on the outside, 5x plus 2. Divide the leading terms. Or, yeah, divide the lead terms, not coefficients. So we have 15x squared divided by 5x. So that's going to be x up here, 1 down here. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So we have 3x. So we're going to put 3x at the top here. Okay, now we're going to multiply negative 3x times our divisor, 5x plus 2. So we have negative 15x squared minus 6x. Uh, combine these, you get 0 here, and then you get 20x. Break down the plus 8, and then repeat the process again. So we're going to divide the leading terms. 20x divided by 5x. The x is canceled, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. So we're going to put plus 4 up here. Multiply this by negative 4, the, the divisor. So we have negative 20x minus 8. We also get a remainder of 0. So in this case, we have a whole at x equals negative 2 fifths. To find the whole value, you just set this divisor equal to 0. Um, and then there's no oblique asymptote.